Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Roseanne attacked by leftist reporter as new show supports Trump. Barr spits in his face. Roseanne Barr's new sitcom premiered last night, breaking records in viewership. Barr has brought back her 90s show Roseanne, with her character as a supporter of President Donald Trump. Roseanne's sister is a Hillary Clinton supporter, wearing a nasty woman tee and a pink pussy hat. For once, Americans saw a Trump supporting character on TV who we could love. That's why Roseanne was attacked by a leftist reporter, and she shocked him by spitting in his face. Roseanne Barr's character, Roseanne Connor, came from Barr's stand up comedy routines when she was starting out. Barr appealed to working class folks. The TV networks wanted Barr to be her real self, and the show Roseanne was born. Barr got the idea to bring back her hit 1990 show as the 2016 election was happening. As a vocal Trump supporter, she knew over half the country was not represented on primetime TV. Roseanne plays herself, so she made her sister Jackie a Hillary Clinton supporter which proved to be comedy gold. Leave it the leftist losers to explode, how dare Roseanne Barr play likable Trump supporter? She might win over some of the brainwashed masses. So, of course, The New York Times decided to come at Roseanne hard and nasty, and she spits right back in reporter Patrick Healy's face. Healy is a known hit piece journalist, and his hate for Trump is well known. The Daily Caller reported, Barr stood by her support of the president after the NY Times interviewer attempted to call her out for supposed contradictions in her beliefs during a Wednesday interview. Here's the exchange according to The New York Times. Considering that Trump opposes many of the principles that you and Roseanne Connor have stood for, How can you support him? No, he doesn't, I don't think he does. I don't think so at all. I think he voices them quite well. I'm thinking of abortion rights, same-sex marriage rights, labor protections. He doesn't oppose same-sex marriage. He doesn't favor it. He has not come out in favor of it. He does. Yes, he does. He has said it several times, you know, that he's not homophobic at all. What about labor union protections and blue-collar workers, and? What do you mean, the, oh, let's not get into this? A representative from his bar interjected, you don't have to get into it. We can move on. Well, you know, it's. Yes, let's do. A question people wonder about. Well, I think working-class people were pissed off about Clinton and NAFTA, so let's start there. That's what broke all the unions and we lost all our jobs. So I think that's a large part of why they voted for Trump because they didn't want to see it continue, where our jobs are shipped away. So, it's more, why did people support shipping our jobs away? Roseanne doesn't care that the Hollywood crowd hates her portrayal of a working-class Trump supporter who isn't a crazed white supremacist living off the grid in the Nevada Badlands. The liberals also hate her sister's character, Jackie, who shows us how ridiculous the nasty woman rabid feminist look wearing those ugly pussy hats. If ratings mean anything which usually translates into a hit show meaning success, Roseanne's hit a chord with over 18 million Americans last night, beating out the 60 Minutes Big Blunder with Stormy Daniels. The two-episode opening reprisal of the legendary 90s sitcom averaged an incredible 18.1 million viewers and registered a 5.1 in the key demographic. The first number alone is easily enough to make Roseanne the highest-rated regularly scheduled scripted show of the last few seasons, as well as the highest-rated sitcom in recent memory according to The Hollywood Reporter. Better yet, Roseanne pummeled another reboot comedy, Will & Grace, who had a 3.0 rating with 10 million viewers. We love this as Will & Grace is a hardcore Trump-hating show, so it looks like Trump beat Hillary again. I stopped watching regular primetime TV a long time ago, ever since it became the tool to pump the leftist agenda. I've seen a few clips of the new Roseanne show, and it looks like it might just be the breath of fresh air we need once a week. Here's hoping that with this big of a hit, we might see other shows geared toward working-class Americans. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.